Wait, but can I at least look around? I, I wanted to loot these guys. There might be stragglers, but you seem to have taken care of most of them out here. That's rather remarkable, really. Yeah, like, say, taking a loot from this Orger Alpha, even though it's just like a couple poultices, but still better than nothing. As you say. Sapphire, I really hope I could make even Shall more donations done? from uh, here, you know. Okay, so we just have a, a bit of the archers here. Okay, there is nothing else. Yeah, nothing else. Oh, and... Uh, You guys are all cool, you don't have any injuries? Good. Oh. Ah, I think I should talk to him. But before I do this... Uh, I have a question, guys, uh, like, for my future, for my future Let's Plays, uh, should I, like, if I get such an opportunity to get that much gold and I want, say, to donate more or to buy more, should I do this, like, you know before I go into the castle, or I would have this opportunity, you know, before fighting the Archdemon, but I wanna go I to the castle. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Yeah, your yeah, yeah, comrade yeah. Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent Yeah, take me inside, you. I was talked about I should take this. you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. Yeah. Well, Riordan is the Grey Warden. Well, I kinda trust him, but still... Scouting in the south. Mm-hmm. Well, I know that. Come on, loading. Come on. It is a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. The Darkspawn that attacked Redcliff were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. How certain are we that this is good information? I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. But did they at least send a word to Denrim? Word has been sent that they need more than warning. They need our armies. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. And we won't be able to reach Denrim within two days. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. But is it even possible to reach the city in time? Perhaps not. But what is important is that we know where the Archdemon will be. If we do not defeat the Archdemon, it will not matter if Denerim is saved or the Horde defeated. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march. And hope the army collected here gives you the chance you need. Arleman, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak, Your Majesty. Then give the order. The longer we delay, the longer Denerim will be at the mercy of the Horde.
Yeah, but how we're supposed to defeat this arch demon? You know, just out of the curiosity. An excellent question. Then you don't know. Of course not. You're both new recruits. Duncan wouldn't have expected. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. Excellent. Perhaps you and Alistair should meet me before you retire for the evening. There are things we need to speak of. Oh. I will have someone show you to this your room. This doesn't sound I very pleasant. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. Okay, now that doesn't sound very good. You've gathered. Mm -hmm, time against the greatest threat. Mm -hmm. Archdemon and Dark. Uh, have reached Denurim, and it will fall to the blight unless you do something about it. You must speak to the... Uh... Dwarf commander? And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Clara sent their men, or haven't they? A stalling, which is as good as a no. House Clorette's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally they're pleading the need for self-defense. <laughs> Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah, evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Ah, uh, is there the problem with the Dwarven forces? Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest oh, for fuck's forces sake, the there we go again. Enough to face the dark spawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. But honestly, I'll be honest with you guys. I am worried about the battle. Huh. And so you should be. I was hoping you'd have some Grey Warden trick up your sleeve, truth be told. Are things truly that desperate? Do we stand a chance of losing? No, no, no. We will find a way to win. We just must. I hope you're right. Under the open sky is a terrible place to consider dying, that's for sure. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. <sighs> yeah, probably I should talk to everyone first. Oh, hey, Sam. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? I'm sure you... Oh, and now I'm having some stuff that I don't need. And getting even more money for what I need. Yay! Ah. Okay, but now seriously, where is my donation box? Second floor. Library and second floor. I think Riordan is on the second floor. Then Oh, do you see anything interesting? Tattered old book. Some of the pages and me chewed. Oh. Oh, okay. Thanks, I guess. Stan. What is your wish, Kadan? 
Uh, let's go. As you wish. What say you? Oh, never mind. And Liliana. Well, aren't you sweet and attentive? Uh, what do you know about this place? Redcliffe? I know little of it except that it is the domain of the Isle of Redcliffe. Redcliffe? I wonder how the name came to be. Is the clay here red? There are places in this world where the clay is a bright, strange red, and often, in the legends of such places, it is the red of blood. The blood of a thousand men slaughtered in battle, or that of an innocent, unjustly slain. It stains the land that it may never be forgotten. Perhaps Redcliffe has one such tale. But I do not know it. Okay, let's just move on then. Very well. And honestly, the way uh, the way Riordan talked about we need to speak about something... I didn't particularly like it. Uh, like at first I want at least to know like it is begun okay Alistair okay okay Morgan I'm not sure what you're doing in my room and there was the guest room as you say Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious now? <sighs> okay, Morgan, I don't know what you're specifically doing in my room, but... What comes, my friend? Oh, never mind. There you are, there you are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Yeah, let's. You're both here, good. Please know I assumed you had already been told. Otherwise, I would have told you this when you freed me in Denerim. I'm sorry. What is it? What are you apologizing for? Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? Well... I assume it has something to do with the taintiness. That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't sound very healthy. The Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning, the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound very good, is it? On the other hand... I know exactly who will die for that. And he's standing right in front of me. Right, Riordan? You will die for me? Right? Ah. Oh. But seriously, isn't there any uh, other way? I want at least to see all the possibilities before making such decision. As far as we know, the transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. 
If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. This is not good. This is really not good. But the thing is then... I really do not have intention of sacrificing my life for this. Like, I have a lot of plans to do after, you know... After I slay the Archdemon, like say, travel with Liliana around the world and everything. But I seriously have uh, not planned to die, so no, I have no intention of sacrificing myself. Duh! In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls to one of you. If it comes to that, I am willing to take the blow. Oh, and what about becoming king? Though, Anora is the queen already. You know I never wanted that. Just make sure I'm there when we fight that dragon. I'll do what needs doing. If we do not stop the blight here and now, it will destroy all of Ferelden before the Grey Wardens elsewhere can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march then. I guess this ends soon. One way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Ah. So now what? Gather... But now am I stressed? 